Hi, I'm Scylla Godolphin, rehoming manager. We get the horses from the trainers as they've come off the track, either the finished racing or they've had a minor injury where we can possibly rehome them and come to us. Then they'll go in the field for some downtime so they can just be horses again. And when they're ready to come in, they come in and they'll do, depending on their injuries, the time that they do on the walker from two weeks to two months, they'll be walked. And then we'll put them under the tack, lunge them, drive them, and then start riding them. And then for probably a month, we'll ride them and then maybe start pole work, see if anything's capable of jumping and then try to assess what kind of home the horse is ready to go to. So once we start riding them, we'll hack them, uh, work them in the school and then possibly jump them. Some won't jump, some will, and then just assess what we've got to be rehomed. So that we, we've got a few in for um, retraining that are getting towards being rehomed at the moment, polarisation. He's got lovely, lovely movements uh, and a real nice horse. And Zolo Bravo, he's almost ready and he will jump a little fence. He hacks out, and lovely, lovely animal. But we're trying to find forever homes where they'll be loved forever because that is something they deserve a chance at a second career. Through the Godolphin rehoming programme, we've been very fortunate to rehome horses such as Caymans, who's now down with Martin and Philippa Whitley in Dartmoor, running Dartmoor Hawking, where they do falconry demonstrations, they do displays, and you're also able to go and have a falconry experience day on horseback. It's just something that's so totally different, but a great way of showing the versatility of the thoroughbred and how they can adapt to different situations and second careers. We've also got Namibian, who's based with Julie Frizzell, recently a Para Dressage Championships um, winner and doing a fantastic job, again, showing a different discipline and how these horses can adapt. Hero Worship with Abby Soul. He was fortunate enough in 2018 to qualify for Hoy's Horse of the Year show, the hallowed turf for the competition horses. Um, he finished third in the retraining to race horses class. A great opportunity for Abby to have you know, her horse, her love, but get to somewhere so special as Horse of the Year show and come away with a rosette. Reckless Abandon's another good example. He's gone and is playing some polo with Josh Clover. Um, down in Winkfield in the, you know, the key area of polo, very busy area and he's doing a great job learning it we've seen some footage of him previously doing some stick and ball and being adapting again showing how versatile they are and what great careers they can have in different homes Prince Bishop, African Story and Papineau have been very fortunate enough. They've gone to Deauville and represented us under the retraining programme there for Odela de Piste, parading at Deauville in August, where they've been able to show off their exhibits and join other horses in France, which are running a similar programme. They've also done um, parades here. We took them to Ascot to do a parade, Prince Bishop, African Story, and Papineau were all at Ascot. So Papi went back to his hometown, home winning place of Ascot and was able to display his newfound career to the public and they've done parades for Dubai Future Champions Day here in Newmarket. In 2019 for the Sir Henry Cecil Open Day we were able to showcase some of our horses and their roles um, during the event we had over 400 visitors come around the yard and seeing some of their old friends the Prince Bishops, the African Stories, Colour Vision, Papineau and people, the public, general public were able to learn about what the horses are doing now to see them, to see how well they were looking. We had some of the trophies there so people could see the Dubai World Cup trophy that the two boys won and it was a really nice day everybody loved it and being able to understand that what the program can offer and how these horses get this opportunity to do something different in their second careers. Sadly, due to the current circumstances, we're not able to welcome people to Newmarket this year, but Godolphin's delighted to be supporting the virtual open day and hope you enjoy seeing some of these horses going through the process that we're able to offer.
For me personally, one of my great memories of Sir Henry Cecil would have been in 2010, the final running of the Champion Stakes at Newmarket, when the day started with Frankel winning the Dali Dewhurst Stakes, followed by twice over winning the Emirates Airline Champion Stakes. The reception Sir Henry got when he walked into the winner's enclosure from the public that day from the audience was just unbelievable. It was a really special, heartwarming moment.